Want to know how to grow your stream on Mixer? In this video, I'm going to share with you eight tips on how to use Instagram as a tool to be able to grow your Mixer channel. Let's dive in. What's going on? It's your boy Santana with Lines Among Sheep, where I bring you guys the best streaming tips and tricks. If it's your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and improve your stream and personal brand, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Tuesday and Friday. Instagram is a platform that almost all of us use, but are you using it the right way to be able to grow your stream? There's some key things that you have to know about the platform and how to use it to get the most out of it and get the most exposure for your Mixer channel. Stick around to the end and I'm gonna share with you a great tip on how to post consistently on social media. All right, so the first thing that we wanna talk about is your Instagram profile picture. It's so important to have a consistent picture across all your social platforms, on Mixer, on Twitter, on YouTube, any social platform that you're using, you wanna use the same picture because what this does, it makes it for people to be able to easily recognize you. So if you look at here on my Instagram, I have the same picture I have on Twitter, same picture on Mixer, and then the same picture on YouTube. So it's very important that you update that to be consistent so you're easily recognizable. All right, so next you wanna make sure that your bio is set up correctly so that way it is effective. Remember, if we're bringing people over to your Instagram account to know what you're about so they can ultimately land on your Mixer channel, you wanna make sure that your bio is set up correctly. And you can utilize bios that you're utilizing on other social platforms. But if you look at my bio, it easily tells you what I'm about and what you can learn from my Instagram Instagram or what I want you to ultimately do. So spend a little bit of time on your bio, use your notepad inside your phone to be able to add emojis and break the lines up, make it easy to read. So, and then come into Instagram and then just simply paste it in there. Now, one of the biggest things that I want to talk about is the link that you're able to put on your Instagram bio. Now, you're only able to put one link in there. So I like to use streamer links. And if you look at streamer links allows you to be able to have multiple links under one. So you simply come in here, create an account. It's completely free to use. So you can utilize that. You can add your Twitter, your YouTube, your Mixer, any other social platforms you may want to use, and then just have it under one link. And let me show you what that looks like, right? So you see here, I have streamer links and my name. And then when you click on it, this is what you ultimately end up seeing. So you're able to put your profile picture once again, keep that consistent. You're able to have a little bit of bio about what you do. And then you're able to put all your links. Now, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and not only put my links, but I like to put certain titles on there as well to give people a reason to want to come over and click. If you look at my podcast, it's a daily inspiration and journey on what it takes to be successful. So that way people, if they're interested in that, they can click that. My TikTok, it's about answering daily streaming questions. You know, I have my private Facebook group, which focuses on marketing secrets for growth of your Mixer stream. You know, how to start streaming on Mixer. That's my YouTube channel. You know, the winner circle, that's the organization I'm a part of and et cetera. So you can see here, that it's a great way to be able to give your viewers access to everything that you're about under one link. So I'll make sure that I'll put this link for streamer links in the description below, but you wanna make sure that you're utilizing that so that way you can take advantage of the single link but providing multiple information. So make sure that your bio is set up correctly. All right, so next we wanna talk about highlights on your Instagram account. So the highlights are a great way to be able to showcase the best moments that you share on your story. So you don't wanna use highlights to just share, to just add everything that you share on your story but the best moments that describe what you're about, what your Mixer channel is about, and things of that sort. So the way to be able to create these highlights is when you create a story on your uh, Instagram account, it's gonna give you the option to create a highlight at that time. So when you create a highlight, what that does is that allows you to create these segments here. So I have here for me, I have my YouTube channel, I have a Q and A because I do a Q and A every Sunday where I let um, everybody ask questions. So you can see here and I answer them. Um, and then I have my podcast and then the Facebook group. And now you can add multiple things on there as a streamer and, a, and, and someone that's looking to generate exposure. You can have, you know, highlight clips, you can have game clips, you can have funny stream moments in there. So just utilize those highlights because it gives people the option to really quickly see what your stream is all about and what your profile is all about. Because as long as you set everything up correctly and they enjoy what they see, 
they will click over and come to your Mixer stream. So this is why I'm going over the most important things before I show you how to get the people to come to your profile. So make sure that you set up highlights based on the things that you're utilizing. But if this space is blank for you, make sure you fill that in. Before we move forward, if you want me to review your Instagram account, follow me on IG and send me a DM. I'll be picking a few accounts to review. And if you know someone who needs this video for their stream, go ahead and share it with them. What kind of stuff should you be posting on Instagram to be able to get the most exposure? So the kind of things that you wanna post as a streamer and a gamer, you wanna post uh, clips, you wanna post uh, memes, you can do news related to the game, you can do you know selfie videos of yourself doing some funny moments, um, you can shout out the your stream, you know, talk about things that you're doing. You can look at your setup. So let me show you some examples of some good things you can be posting. So here's a good example of a setup picture, right? This is a behind the scene and people love seeing setups and what you're about because it inspires them and gives them idea or motivates them to get certain things that you may have. So what you want to take a look at here, that's a good way to do that. Then you have here like game clips, right? Game clips of your game and what's going on, highlights and good moments that can also go viral if people enjoy it. Then you have here like selfie, selfie videos of, you know, you're doing memes and things of that sort, funny moments that showcase your personality that people will enjoy as well. Then you have here memes with themselves, right? You can find these, you can create them yourself related to your game and things that people that play the games that you play or that are part of your stream or the kind of audience you're looking for would understand. So you can create memes like that. Okay. Then you can also do news related to the game or news within the industry in there to educate the people that follow you or also to, you know, provide support to those that may not understand. So, you know, that's good as well. And then you can also showcase the love for your stream and people that comment you or reach out or reshare comments, things of that sort. So there's plenty of things that you can do. You just want to be able to figure out what works best for you and then just try all different things out. But those are some examples of what you can utilize to post as a streamer in case you didn't have any ideas. So next, let's talk about hashtags. So hashtags are important to use because they allow you to get a little bit more exposure and allow your post to be seen by other people, especially if people are searching certain hashtags and things of that sort. So you may ask, you know, what kind of hashtags should I be using? And I know it's always become difficult, but I want to show you guys a free tool that I use to be able to get hashtags, not only for myself, but a lot of times for my clients. So, um, and I'll drop the link in the description for this. It's called besthashtags.com. So you simply come here and you can type in, let's say, Call of Duty. And this is literally going to go ahead and give you the best hashtags to be able to use. So these are the most popular hashtags for Call of Duty. And these are the most liked hashtags for Call of Duty on there. So you can literally just copy and paste these and use them in your posts. Now, one thing that you want to know is that you want to use only like 10 to 15 posts. Instagram allows you to do 30, um, but you don't want to saturate it because you want the content and the stuff that you post to be very engaging and funny. And you always want to, you know, on your post and your caption, you want to put something like tag someone who would enjoy this, uh, tag someone who would like to see this or comment below. You always want your captions to create an action for the person that's looking at it. So utilize 10 to 15 hashtags. You can go 20 or 30 sometimes in there, but constantly switch them up. So don't use the same hashtags over and over and over again, because what happens is if Instagram notices that you're using the same hashtags over and over again, they start lowering the amount of reach you can get. So just swap them out. Maybe, you know, use a hashtag on this post, maybe for the next three posts and then switch it up. And you can always come back to them. But um, that's a great tool to use if you are struggling to find hashtag ideas. So how frequently should you be posting on Instagram? So, you know, I mean, I post typically right now about four times a day. But what you want to simply do is one to two times a day is more than enough to be able to keep getting traction. The most important aspect of it is being consistent. So you want to be consistent with your posting. So if two is too many for you to keep up with or three is too many, then just do one because you want to be consistent and you want to post every single day because the way it works is that when you're posting, okay, the more you post, the more the people that follow you see your content, the more that people see your content, the more they can like it the more they can share it. Now, one thing that I want to show you to do um, to be able to get create more stories for your for your Instagram account is whenever you post something on your IG, go to the post and then also share it to your story. Okay, 
So you can share it directly to your story. That way it pops up as a post on your story. And not only are you posting on your feed, but you're also posting on your story. And then that leads me to utilizing your stories as well to post. Now for your stories, you want to try to do at least five to six stories every single day. If you're posting two IGs, that's two stories right there. And then you can literally do a behind the scene. Maybe you're about to go live, do a video, you know, show your setup before you go live, talk about a game you're about to play. Utilize your stories because stories get seen more than the actual feed. So in your stories, you can also get a lot of exposure, get a lot of engagement in there and you're able to use hashtags in there as well. And then if you do hashtags in your story, just use one hashtag. But at the end of the day, make sure you're utilizing both the feed and the story and putting more presidents on the stories. Okay. Now let me show you how you can get people to come view your profile and how to engage on the platform. You have to remember this is social media. You have to engage and build the real connections and be genuine about your intentions so that way you can grow not only your Instagram account, but also grow your Mixer stream. So let me show you what I do. And I do this every single day. I spend about 10 to 15 minutes engaging with 10 to 30 posts. And that's exactly what you want to do as well. So every single day, you want to set a goal of engaging with 10 to 30 people every single day that you want to be your fans or come check out your stream or the audience that you're ultimately looking for. So you simply can come here to the search bar and put in any hashtag that you like, even the ones that you use for your own posts. Because if you're using those hashtags, that means that's the kind of people you want to see your information. So you would come to there. For me, it would be Mixer Streamers. So you can see here at the top that it not only gives you the uh, hashtag that I was searching, but also related ones as well. And then what I would do is that I would spend spend 10 to 15 minutes scrolling through here and I would look at certain posts, right? I just want to play video games and I will literally come in here and engage and say, me too, brother. Okay. And I will literally just post that. And then I would just spend time engaging and building relationships and connections. So you want to set a goal of yourself because this is what ultimately is going to help you grow. So you want to do this every single day, 10 to 30 people. And then you will see that in time, not only is your Instagram account going to grow, but your following on Mixer and your fans will grow as well. So spend time building relationships with other people on the platform. All right, so if you're still with me, this is the best tool to be able to use to be able to stay consistent with social media and to keep track of what you're posting and things of that sort and to be organized. So this is again, a free tool called Hootsuite. So Hootsuite is a pretty much a calendar where you're able to go in there and put down the posts that you want to utilize. So let's say, for example, you sit down on a Sunday evening and you decide to say, okay, these are all the things I'm going to post on Instagram for the rest of the week. So you can literally create the post within here. And then on the days that you want to post, you can either put them up to go out automatically, or you can go in there and edit them and make adjustments. This is, helps you to stay organized and to build out your content. So this allows you to manage three social platforms for free. So that can be Twitter, that can be Instagram, that can be Facebook without them charging you. And then you're able to schedule up to 30 posts if you like. And then literally it allows you to be able to manage your social account and do everything that you need. And it's completely free. So I'll put the link in the description below. I'm doing a training on Hootsuite is a little bit more lengthy. So if you guys want to see a video on how I use Hootsuite to manage my social media, drop a comment below and maybe I can go ahead and make a video like that for you guys. So use Hootsuite to be able to manage your content if you're struggling to stay consistent in your posting. Now that you know how to use Instagram to be able to grow your Mixer stream, how do you continue to improve and grow? Every week inside of my private Facebook group, I do a live training where I review channels, answer questions, and provide you more tips to be able to grow. If you want to become a part of the family, the link is in the description below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe, and share it with a fellow streamer, and comment below with helpful if this video helped you. I'll see you guys in the next video. You know the motto, hustle, live, repeat.